So we have a new thing called the product rule for when you have two functions multiplied together. I remember it in my head as first d second plus second d first, which means when you have two expressions multiplied like this x cubed and this x squared plus 2x, this part is your first, this part of course is your second. The derivative of this product is the first part, x cubed, times the derivative of what's in these brackets, plus what's in these brackets times the derivative of the x cubed. And there are way too many ways to write that. You can say first second prime plus second first prime. A lot of formula sheets give you fg prime plus f prime g, where f is the first function and g is the other one. fdg plus, plus gdf works. And because these are added together, it doesn't matter what order they're given in. So if someone tells you it's second d first plus first d second, just with these the orders swapped, that is perfectly okay also. Um, from me, you're going to hear first d second plus second d first, just because that's drilled way into my head and I'm never going to get rid of it. But if you have your own way of remembering the formula, great. We should agree on our answers. So, without further ado, let's dig into this thing. The product rule says that the derivative of this, df dx, is the first part times the derivative of the second part, which would be 2x plus 2. I'm going to start doing these power rules faster because I think you've get, had some practice. So this is first d second plus second part, x squared plus 2x, times derivative of the first part, which would be 3x squared. Now, I hope you feel like cleaning that up. I certainly do. Let's get this multiplied out and see if we can collect some terms or something. x cubed times 2x is 2x to the fourth. x cubed times 2 is 2x cubed. x squared times 3x squared is 3x to the fourth. And then we get 2x times this, which is 6x cubed. So yes, we can collect like terms. df dx is... 2 plus 3 is 5x to the 4th, and then 2x cubed plus 6x cubed is 8x cubed. Now, you might have noticed up here, why don't we just multiply this out? And yeah, that's fine. Later we're going to get some functions that that doesn't work so nicely, like you could have sine x times natural log x, and then you really do need the product rule. But if it's a polynomial, you certainly have a plan B, and the plan B is, before you even start the derivative, expand this and make it look nicer. x cubed times x squared is x to the fifth, x cubed times 2x is 2x to the fourth, and you can see from here if you take the derivative, you get 5 times x to the fourth, and then 8 times x to the third. So. It was a little bit overkill to use the product rule for this when it would have simplified so nicely, but trust me, you are going to need it later, and we're just starting you off with some easier examples to get you warmed up.